Matunless speaks part eight and last of Matunless's last interview before he was kidnapped by the Martelli Lamont government in the land conflict. Let's listen. Let's listen to the last part of Martinez's Martinez's uh, interview. Especially today, yes. My father's a peasant, my mother's a peasant, my grandmother, all my grandparents, they're all peasants. But they have something. They have wisdom. You see, they believe in dignity. They believe in dignity. They love to work. They respect people. Well, peasants respect people because they like to be respected too. Well, what they're doing here, it shows they have no respect for the peasants. If you come to put the peasant out like that and tell him, you go, where can he go? He doesn't know where to go. And then you take the land to build hotels. You do not respect the peasants. And the peasants like to be respected. You must respect us. That's what I say. Uh, and Martinez, uh, Ilavash has already had the experience of development. The owners of Abaca Bay and Port Morgan hotels, these are people who contracted with the government and who came. The population give, gave up the sites and they compensated the people normally. You mean the two big hotels on the island? Yes, Port Morgan did not give all these problems. Abaca Bay did not either. So they must be thinking, why is the population making all this fuss? Everybody listening. Port Morgan did not give any trouble. Abaca Bay gave no problem. Meaning if now the population is standing up, this means that something didn't go well. And we today, we say this project must be revised. This project must be revised. We're not considering agricultural farms. We don't want this. We the people, we say this project to do it, they must say this area is for hotels and the population will keep their homes. This way we'll have the means to produce. We ask the state to help us keep the means to farm and fish, to give us a boost, to brace us because we will be a priority of the government, for us to produce the food for the tourists who will come. We can do this. This is what integration is. This is what they must do for us today. In bulk, we ask the government to take this up again, revise the project for us, 
Simultaneously, they must respect our traditions. They talk about all these things they'll do, yet they haven't built a football field for us on Ilavash. And every time somebody visits, they see there are two teams. And if you see there are two teams, this means a football field must be built. And we say in the South Department, Ilavash is an area that has great potential for soccer talent, for football talent. We don't have a single club, not even in the fifth division, but that hasn't kept us from having our young men in the national championships. Today, the best left fielder in national championships is Kim Z. Francois. He is from Ilavash. He plays in Club Victory. Already, we can see we're not in it. Well, the cat owner holds the cat by the head. We hold our cats by the head. We tell them, we don't say we are against this project, but they must revise it. The project we saw, we were against it. This project that plans for 12 beaches, a golf course, 1,000 1, hotel rooms, an airport, 2,500 villas for Venezuela, agricultural infrastructure. Well, we say this plan, the people of Ilavash are against it. And they must come up with another plan for us. That's Kopi's final word. This plan with all this stuff that takes no account of the Ilavash peasants, uh, we ask that it be revised. Uh, how are they going to put all of this on um, 4,000 square meters? If they want to do a project for us, they must come to sit with us. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Louis Jean Gardy. Thank you, Mr. Jean Matinez Lamy. We hope those concerned have heard us and will reconsider the project, starting from the positions you've expressed in the name of the Ilavash population as represented by COPI.